Hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Liberate Lunations. My name is Eleonora, and today we're going to be talking about the new moon in Cancer that happens on July 9th with its peak time of 6, 16 p.m., and that's for Pacific Standard Time. Cancer is a water cardinal sign ruled by the moon, who is in Cancer right now, so the moon is actually at home for this lunation, providing us with a good opportunity for a fresh new start. For aspects this time around, we're going to start with the Venus-Mars conjunction in Leo. And this energy can be a lot, but it can also serve as a boost of creativity, a boost to our romantic relationships, our boost to our physical stamina as well. My one advice for this is really find a place you can channel all this energy, because it's is going to be a lot of fire, um, very active energy that's going to be coming through. This energy can also be really helpful to seek what you're passionate about and maybe new passions or new ideas, goals that you want to manifest this lunar cycle. The second aspect that we have for this lunation is Uranus and Taurus squaring that Venus-Mars conjunction in Leo. As usual with Uranus transits, it indicates a kind of change, a shift, a wanting to break free, maybe a moment of rebellion, taking a leap perhaps. With Uranus transits, I always advise to not resist change, even though it can be one of the hardest things to do, but sometimes finding change can lead to worse results. It can be a good time to roll with the punches, find activities, people or situations that can be a healthy outlet for your energy. Uranus squaring Venus could bring a little bit of conflict to relationships and maybe some unexpected situations regarding them or regarding your values, your money. If possible, let there be room for exploring new things and open communication. Okay, next up, we're gonna pull a card for you guys. As always, this is an energy that we can lean into and find comfort for this new moon. Um, the first that popped up is the first quarter moon. Um, which is right after the new moon. First quarter moon is always a good point to check in with your intentions, whatever you set during the new moon, just making sure it's all going well, they're growing, you're tending to them, you're doing what needs to be done to manifest those intentions. Um, so yeah, leaning to your intentions, really put them out there um, and really, I guess, develop a plan of how you're going to tend to them and manifest them over the next 28 days or for that matter, over the next six months until the full moon in Cancer um, at the end of the year. The second one we got is Cancer. So, I mean, that's pretty redundant. It's pretty um, self-explanatory. Lean into that water energy, leaning to that nurturing energy, leaning to that protective energy as well, especially now with summer starting and everybody being out and about, especially here in California. Um, sometimes people's energy can get too much, so just remember to protect your own. Okay, services to recommend as always with a new moon. I recommend intuitive readings. It'd be very good to get um, any clarifications on your intentions, if you're not feeling grounded, if you're not feeling um, like you're going the right direction, sometimes intuitive readings can help, channeling can help. Um, sometimes your spirits come through another person, you know, and just try to guide you. So I would recommend intuitive readings. For events to recommend, I have two events to recommend. The first one is an in-person event at our Sherman Oaks location. It's a sound bath, relaxation sound bath with Gina. It's $35. That's at 8 p.m. on Thursday, July 8th. For our live stream folks, we have devotional chanting for deep meditation and healing with Gopala Bhakta, and that is at 8 p.m. as well. That's going to be on Zoom online, $15. Um, great meditation for grounding as well and healing through chanting and um, music. All right, guys, that is it for this new moon in Cancer. I hope everybody's feeling great. I hope everybody's having an awesome summer. If you need us, you can call us, email us, come visit us at the shop, both Los Feliz and Sherman Oaks. I'm sending everybody much, much love, many, many blessings, and have a very happy Cancer New Moon.
her readings uh, shared time and space with someone who is spiritually connected. An opportunity to get clarity and reassurance, um, guidance on any area of your life that you may feel stuck or not in flow with. So readings are basically um, extremely helpful for you to make decisions that needed to be made. For having clarity on life's questions, healing, um, empowerment to move someone from fear to being empowered. When you're feeling stuck, when you can't answer the question yourself, when you find yourself in a little bit of a spin out. I don't think there's anything that a reading is not good for. You know, the perfect time for a reading can be any time. We are constantly changing, so we are constantly coming up against obstacles or reoccurring patterns that we need to check in with. When things just feel really heavy and dark and you might be a little confused about some of the things on your, on your path, maybe certain relationships or opportunities. So we all have blind spots. So when you find yourself in a blind spot, that's a really good time to get a reading. So readings are good to check in to find out where your progress is through the eyes of someone else who's holding you in the highest good for all concerned. Change is always good ultimately, and sometimes it's hard to see that, and readings bring you back to that center of what it's for for you.